SpaceX have just launched the Quantum Drive into the stratosphere on board one of their Falcon 9 rockets. This Quantum Drive is meant to draw limitless power from the sun and will fly to orbit. Um, in fact, it's flying there right now. Apparently, it has broken the laws of physics, defying the laws of motion as set out by Isaac Newton. A device called a quantum drive that draws limitless power from the sun is about to go into orbit. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is unquestionably one of the most amazing technologies that we've seen revealed within the past decade. A quantum drive that draws limitless power from the sun will fly to orbit this year. The company that manufactures it believes its new quantum drive defies the laws of motion, and it aims to put it to the test by sending it to orbit using a SpaceX rocket made by Elon Musk's company. US company Evo Limited, a wireless power technology firm, is set to send an electric propulsion system for satellites to space for the first time ever in October. It's actually quite a remarkable achievement if they can pull this off. The EVO quantum drive system was due to launch atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket as part of the rideshare mission Transporter 8 in June, but delays in developing the company's prototype led EVO to opt for sending their technology to space aboard SpaceX's Transporter 9 later on this year. If it lives up to the company's expectations, the quantum drive can rewrite critical principles of physics that have been a cornerstone for the space industry since its inception. So it's got some pretty bold goals. Is it realistic? Can it possibly achieve them? Well, first of all, the company claims that it defies Newton's laws of motion. Evo Limited, founded in 2017, has been developing a pure electric thrust system for spacecraft, partly in a bid to tackle the space industry's massive carbon footprint. Interesting engineering says that the quantum drive builds on the idea of quantized inertia or QI proposed by physicist Mike McCulloch, a professor at the University of Plymouth. On his website, McCulloch writes that Isaac Newton's first law of motion, which defines inertia by stating objects move in straight lines at constant speed unless pushed on, doesn't fully describe exactly what inertia is. McCulloch devised his QI theory to explain the true nature of inertia via the strange properties of quantum mechanics. His theory has been widely criticized, with some physicists stating his proposal defies the laws of motion set out by Newton. Now, he's not arguing with that. He, in fact, agrees with that summation. However, these laws of motion have been precious to the space and rocket industry, but that hasn't deterred the company. The company has built its quantum drive based on principles from a Kulok's QI theory, and the company says it has managed to generate thrust in laboratory tests, kind of proving its point. Ivo claims its quantum drive produced thrust, meaning it's the real deal. This means that in exactly one day's time, we will see this SpaceX rocket take off into orbit with Evo Limited's new limitless power device if in fact this thing is the real deal it absolutely will be a game change i don't know how to put that other than to say this quantum drive concept and the product itself if it does what its manufacturer claims will change paradigms now there's a good chance by the time you're viewing this video that this quantum drive will actually be in space critics of the theory though will likely feel there isn't much to be worried about but Evo founder and CEO Richard Mansell feels it could be a watershed moment. In an interview with the debrief, Mansell explained that Evo performed 100 hours of vacuum chamber testing during which their quantum drive consistently produced enough thrust around 10 millinewtons consistent with McCulloch's QI theory. In other words, they believe the product has already been proven to break the laws of physics. During their tests, they aimed to ensure that the force was not coming from any other aspect of their drive, like electrostatic forces. We got to the point where our third party inspectors said, at this point, there's nothing we can do to debug what you're doing. It's just got to go to space. 
it's really got to go to space. Well, it's about to. In fact, it's about to tomorrow. Evo believes that its quantum drive could eventually produce up to 52 millinewtons of thrust from a single watt of electricity. In a press statement in March, the company said it would draw limitless power for propulsion from the sun, meaning it could remove the need for satellites to deorbit at all. As with other controversial systems like the M drive, tests may amount to nothing, but they are definitely worth pursuing because the payoff has a minuscule chance of forever changing the space industry completely. Could change space travel as well. In fact, it really could change the way that we travel throughout the universe if this theory was proven to work. We'll find out within 24 to 48 hours. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.